welcome Libra and thank you for joining me for your oracle reading. For you I pulled number 21 Al as your medicine card. 21 breaks down to 3 which is the number for growth. And Al medicine is deception. Now I'm not saying that you're supposed to go out there and deceive someone this week. Instead what I'm saying is that there's someone around you who may be deceptive or you may be deceiving yourself this week. But either way there is something that is happening here that is not as it seems. For your mineral companion, I pulled this beautiful piece of chrysoprase, and this is a stone of compassion. So you're being asked, even if you do come across someone who's being deceptive in your reality, to be compassionate, but most importantly, be compassionate with yourself. So do little things for yourself, such as buy a candy bar when you're at the grocery store, or fix your favorite meal or spend a little bit longer in the shower. Do little things that will help improve your mood and basically help you be in a more positive state of being. Now for your advice card, I pulled number 31, the lower world. 31 breaks down to four, which is a number for reliability. So this has to do with the core of who you are, the foundation of your being. And the lower world represents the unconscious. So this week you are going on the hero's journey. In the hero's journey, Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, you go into the subconscious and you retrieve something. Now, that is often something that is either stolen or it's a granted boon. But either way, when you go into the lower worlds, you are confronting the dragon. And one of the things that I have learned on my journey is that instead of confronting the dragon and trying to overpower it, I confront it with compassion. I accept and embrace that dragon. So whatever fears come up for you this week, instead of pushing them away or shoving them down or trying to fight them, ask that fear, what are you teaching me? Why are you here? Explore the history of it. Write down in your journal the fear that you are having and if you've had it before. And then try to come at this from a new angle, a new perspective that you haven't explored before. Now for your clarifying card, I pulled number 64, Gawacha, in reverse. 64 breaks down to 10, which again breaks down to 1. And so we have an initiating energy here, a fresh start, a new beginning. And Gawacha, in reverse, actually represents stagnation. So what I see here is that something in your life is not going swimmingly. And basically, you're stagnating, you're stuck. And in order to have the new start that is here, this fresh new beginning that's being offered to you, you need to find what aspect of self-deception lies within your subconscious and deal with that. Once you can recognize what fear is holding you back, nothing will stop you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, hit the like button and subscribe to get next week's oracle, and if you want more perspective on your coming week, go ahead and check out your moon and rising sign videos as well. Bye for now.